Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Design Centric Sim City. My name is Rick Toaster, and we're back at Fishing Valley, and I have something uh, to confess. Uh, some of you already know this, but uh, for those of you who didn't get uh, the little announcement that I did of a live stream, uh, that I think it was two days ago, three days ago, um, I made some changes to the city, and this is the reason why I'm only focusing on this little part and not on the rest, because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. Actually, the city changed dramatically, and uh, you know what? I think it's time. I'll, I'll just show it to you. Uh, the reason is I wasn't very happy with the with how it turned out. I was looking at it after I recorded the episode. I was looking and, and there was something odd about it. And I realized, hey, mm, this doesn't look as nice. And I don't think it's up to the, you know, that standard thing that I have, I guess. So I decided to make some changes and I was making them off camera. And then, I, then it hit me. It's like, maybe people will be interested in, in see this on camera and since I knew that it was gonna be a long process it was actually like a about a two-hour process of you know quote-unquote fixing the city uh, I actually did a live stream and uh, a lot of people joined and I want to thank you for those uh, thank you uh, those who joined the the series uh, the series the live stream I don't even know what I'm saying I've been recording with sad for like two hours at, at the point of, <laughs> of recording this uh, so my head is a bit kind of like mm, but uh, this is gonna be a great episode, and this is this is the result, by the way. We now have this layout with the mega towers. They're all connected with uh, with the sky bridges in like a kind of a proton. Is that no? That's not the word I'm looking for. It's a it's a kind of a brain shape, and uh, we have the rail now only ends uh, you know ends here, which uh, it's it's okay. I'm I'm okay. I know I know the previous episode was called Railroad Madness, and it was basically rail all over the place. But uh, I think that that was probably one of the main reasons why I wasn't happy with the results. It wasn't super bad, but it was just, it's just there was just something about it that I don't know. So this is uh, what we have so far. Let me let me show you a little bit. It feels like it's a bit more clean uh, or cleaner actually. Uh, looking at it from from this angle, it actually looks fantastic in my opinion. And um, and of course we have some growth going. I sewn everything else around, like all these uh, neighborhoods around the the mega towers. We have the train station, and actually this turned out to be a tourist city now because we have the double decker bus terminal in addition to the uh, German rail station. We also have an airport right here at the entrance, and uh, we also have the roller coaster, and we do have uh, what are these? Uh, the basic tourism crowns. We have two of them. Everything else is just advertising. So I think uh, it's looking great, but you know what? This, oh, by the way, another change that I made is now we have a large police station and uh, a fire station, a police and fire, that's what I meant. And we also have a recycling center because by the way, I made some other changes into the city. They're a small one, so don't worry about it. I'll, I'll go through them in a minute. But um, one thing that I wanted to leave for this video, just like the icing of the cake of the city, so we can actually call the city done and move on to the next one, is this spot right here in the middle. As you can see, right now it is it's just trees. So, you know, not a big deal. It's just trees. And uh what we're gonna put here is actually gonna be pretty, pretty cool. And it's under this menu, and it's under this menu, and it's the first one right here. Yes. We're gonna do the lunch arcology right here on this city and we're gonna put it right there in the middle between all the mega towers and i think it's gonna be absolutely great does this need control net it needs colonists and it no no control net all right so uh this will take a while i guess in order to prepare for lunch uh we might come back to the city uh at the end of the season maybe so we'll just let it run here on its own uh, you might be wondering, uh, we had some levels here, uh, when I talked about safety, uh, the fire and uh, police. We used to have a safety level, uh, the problem is that it required drones, so it wasn't working, that's why the whole city was a bit of a mess. Look at all the people just going places, it's kind of insane. Um, so now that we have the large police station and then the fire station, everything's, you know, technically is... Uh, balance and in shape so this is how the city looks like I am very happy with the results like this time for good so we're probably not gonna come back to the city uh, for a while 
And if you do want to uh, watch the, the live stream, it's it's actually what's recorded. And you can find the links in the description of this video. Uh, those are going to be Twitch links. Um, the stream was actually split in three parts because uh, this, my game crashed. Actually, OBS crashed two times during the live stream. So the first part is like almost two hour, uh, all, almost two hours, like one hour and 15 minutes. And the other parts are like 15 minutes each or something like that. So I will include all those links in the description. Don't worry. Uh, you can, if you want to stop this video right now and go check those out for a while, uh, it's your call. Uh, but uh, I didn't do much building, I guess. Well, I did, I did quite a bit of building. Yeah, you should, you should, you want to, you want to check that out. I'm sure you'll, you'll have a good time there. So, all right, nighttime is upon us and we will come, uh, well, it's time for us to create the next city. And uh, I wish I could zoom out further, but I think I'm gonna jump into here. Uh, we were talking about having uh, a theme city and most people in the comments uh, from the last video uh, were suggesting maybe go British. And I think that's a great idea. But uh, first I want to find the perfect plot just because, huh? Rio Branco, let's see. Let's actually look at the resources real quick. We have Rio Branco, Rio Blanco actually, Rio Blanco uh, here with uh, a bunch of ore, a bunch of oil, uh, some water and some wind and no coal. This one has only wind. This might be a good spot for, for the tourist city, by the way. semi palinitisk steps, I think. Uh, this one has a lot of resources. This one, a bit of water, a bit of wind. Oh, maybe actually this one might be a better fit. Let's take a look. Oh, I think I built a city on this plot before. And it has a bit of a land situation here with a... I'm sorry, yeah, a bit of a shore situation. You know what? Let's claim Arroyo Alamogordo. Arroyo Alamogordo. <laughs> that will be... It's, I think it's Spanish. Yeah, that's definitely Spanish. And welcome to Arroyo Alamogordo. And uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have a rail connection. Let's actually pause the game. We have a rail connection. And uh, we have a shoreline with uh, a nice, this one seems like a not so steep incline, which is always good. The terrain is a bit hilly. It's not super flat, but uh, I think there's a good starting point for our city. And uh, let's see, can we do something quick here and try to connect this? Like that without getting like weird slopes. I guess it's too much to ask. Unless I do something like this. Which is not that bad actually. Let's take a look. This is not too bad, actually. We can zone. We can even zone on this side, like that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. One thing is for certain: none of these uh, cities will look like Britain or Paris or like London or Paris or Berlin uh, if we, you know, use the theme uh, style buildings just because it's a desert. So I'm thinking this will be more of a uh, kind of like, like a Las Vegas kind of city where it's just, you know, fake uh, theme uh, for whatever, you know, the, you know, whatever city you want to emulate, if you will. So, I don't know. I think uh, I think it will be a nice experiment. And I like this curve, actually. So let's see where it takes us. So if we go like this, maybe... Right about there, maybe we can like finish a bit like that. This is this is not me at all. Like I haven't done like organic sort of layouts in like forever. <laughs> uh, maybe we can like do a straight line here. Let's let's use this space wisely. So we can do this and uh, connect it this way. Is it nicely connected? It seems so, all right. Uh, it seems to be plenty of room here for many things. Let's see how this goes. 
we will this is all high density by the way yes it is can we actually go up here maybe so i don't usually do these things but uh i think in this case i'm gonna make an exception let's get a tunnel there is it too steep it's incredibly steep yeah no i don't like that i do not like that i need to install this mod that actually apparently makes more realistic uh, approaches and uh, I think that will have a huge impact on the bridges and things that I'm doing. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to install that uh, for the next uh, episode, and uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes. And all uh, right, so here I think I want to get rid of this road. The problem is this is not a straight road, right? Well, I mean, not that this one is, but it's definitely not uh, not the right one. And like we said, we're going to try to keep the city non-futurized. So I think uh, that will help things look nicer. This might be better just to have a curve. Because we almost never do curves. We always do straight lines. Let's, yeah, let's make some different things here. I think it will it will be worth, worth it, uh, worth our effort. Uh, I think uh, this will go this way. You know what, let's get this line here and uh, smooth this corner up just slightly it's a bit of a bump there but it's okay it's not it's not that big of a deal thankfully and uh, here let's this straight line i want to have some straight lines i don't want everything to be like curved because otherwise it's super boring so hmm let's have i'm, I'm guessing this will be all uh, actually we need to have medium density if we want to do the the tile sets uh with uh custom actually so this is going to be our main road so i want this to be high density i'm going to avoid zoning here and uh, my phone is ringing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop real quick because I think I need to take this call, and I'll resume in just one second. And I'm back. And unfortunately, the, while I was talking on the phone, the game crashed, and I lost all like half of this road. I lost. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna even bore you with the details of it, but I had to recreate some of that stuff. Um, so what I was thinking is that uh, I want a kind of a cool diagonal like main street with uh, so I'm thinking like maybe have two avenues side by side and a park in the middle I think that will be pretty cool to have and uh, by the way oh I click on the wrong thing thank you Windows I just opened the big Metro UI style menu because I hit on the wrong key there we go that's sort of what I wanted um, uh, another thing that I was thinking is, uh, yeah, this name is a bit too Spanish for a British city. Uh, so, uh, like I always say, uh, in the comment section below this very video, please let me know. Um, just suggest cool names that we can uh, that we can rename the city, and uh, that will be very much appreciated. Uh, you guys are obviously better than me at picking up names. That that I I suck at picking up names in life in general. It's just not really what I do. I'm not good at it. I don't enjoy it. It's just painful. So where do we want these avenues? Do we want them here? Maybe want them there. Uh, come like this. And maybe like that. Is that enough room for our avenues? Roads overlap. All right. That is fixed. Uh, maybe something like that. Uh, actually, no, wait. Here, and I need to bulldoze this. There we go. I think, I think that works. I wonder if they're too close together. But no, I think I think it should be fine. It's it's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of a busy intersection here. And I know some of you want me to like do weird interchanges. I don't know if that's kind of my style, guys. Sorry. I mean, let, let's. You know what? Let's let's just give it a try. Why not? So I think we're gonna go. So three here, 
And then one, two, three, there. I think this will be enough. Separation, actually, I want a bridge. And we want, I think I need one more and one more. This should be enough. Hopefully, uh, wrong tool. There we go. I really need this mod that converts this into a nice little slope. It's, it's also weird how it's bent in the middle, but it should be okay for now. Uh, and let's do some like on ramps and off ramps. This would be great if they actually ever do this um, uh, one way roads. I think it will be very helpful. Let's see if we can do. I'm an absolute noob at this, so if this sucks completely, uh, you should understand why that is. It will make sense. So maybe we can do something like this and do the same on the other side. I mean, though, I feel like this curve should like sort of follow this, but that's just going to be pretty complicated. I mean, not actually, it's not going to be that complicated, but when I do this, when I eyeball things like this, it, it never ends up nice for some reason. So uh, this went up to here, right? You know what? Let's let's do this right. I don't remember if I eyeballed that or that was actually the thing. There we go. There we go. And uh, you're going to come to here and you're going to come to here. Let's see how that looks once I connect this to. Look at that weird intersection. Yeah. Uh, it could have been worse. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It could have been a lot worse. But you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm sure that I'm going to trick this. So don't freak out. This is just temporary. I just want to see where the elements um, take place around the map. But it's, it's not the end of the world either. I mean... Should we connect this to here? Seems a bit odd if I connect that there. You know what? No, I'm not going to connect that there. I am just going to live it like that. So there we go. An on-ramp, an off-ramp, and, and I hope that everyone is happy now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I think I want a, I want small smaller roads in here. I think this these are more than enough avenues for this entire city. So. I'm gonna go this. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. Following the. This is not good. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's taking a bit of a dip there. I don't think we wanna go that far that far and uh, let's come maybe to here should be fine uh we're gonna curve this road building man isn't this the funnest funnest funniest funnest part of uh sim city at least this uh version of the game i guess i love it you know how much i love doing road work okay just you know laying down the basic roads we're probably not going to finish the city. I mean, I, I can assure you that we're not going to finish the city in this episode. But uh, at least we're going to get some uh, decent uh, road uh, network thing going. I kind of want to break the grid a bit more. Maybe we can have... If I come all the way here... Just figuring out this thing's... Uh, what if we actually go straight here and just... <laughs> actually, no, I think I'm okay with this. In that location, for now, I'm probably going to change my mind after I hit stop, uh, I hit the, the record button and stop this recording. I know it. Uh, you know it. Everyone knows it. Why? Why even bother to not acknowledge it? I don't even... Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the point. Right now, I don't even know what I'm saying. And I know you can tell. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. This is looking weirder and weirder. The more I see this, the less I like it. Which, it's a problem. Let me try something different here. Let's see if we can... To close the existing road intersection, okay. 
that maybe will help help yes all right so what i want is um we hmm i think we want oh, i'm using curve let's go like this uh too close to road intersection come on you're so mean All right, so what I'm thinking is, so maybe we'll clean this up. Actually, this too. Maybe if we can. Uh, this might not work. Unless we completely eyeball it. Let's see, can we even do that? If we go to here and to here and to here. Maybe we can just round it up right next to it and it will make sense. Oh, look at that intersection. This is awful, but it's still better than what we had before. So let's try to do the same here. We're basically using this as a, as a guide projected here and not this one. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, so far I am not amused by this at all. So if we do something like that, It's so weird. Wait, I have an idea. Let's let's do this right. Let's do this right. I think I think we can make it right easily without compromising the main structure of our. Actually, I think I'm gonna end up doing exactly the opposite of what I said that I was going to do, which is to come here. Actually, it's two there. Uh, yeah, that is sort of where I wanted it. So basically we're gonna have a flat area here and then just a wide curve going in and out. I don't even know if this is centered, but uh, it, it doesn't matter. I, I don't think it has to be centered. And that means we no longer need this road. Uh, let's just stop here. And uh, of course get rid of this and uh develop that so we're gonna go four oh, this is actually five so one two three four one two three four on each side uh, i think i close it before it did it let's just do it like that all right go up two levels there we go we have uh, an overpass that is semi flat at the top it's better than the old one so and oh wait let's uh let's do this right I think this is where we want the site roads to come into place. So now from here, oh, it's only three by three. Hmm. This one is a bit longer than that. Let's try that. Okay, that's looking slightly better. And uh, it's not gross as, as the old one. That's That's always good. So let's just connect this really tight, I guess. So just not to waste time. Uh, this one has to be, yeah. I'm eyeballing, which is dangerous because I always, I never like that. You know me, you should know me by now. So I'm gonna remove two on each side. There we go. And now I'm gonna curve it. Like that. I need Yuto to tell me how he does these things, because he obviously he obviously has the talent for it and the patient, uh, the patient and the patience. Uh, I can't even speak right now. Uh, yeah, it's just what a day, man. What a BC day. So I think this is done. Let me continue a bit more, even though I think I'm running into overtime for the length uh, the length of this episode. But uh, I'll I'll do a bit more. I'll do a bit more. I think it will be it will be fun because I'm, I'm i'm actually having a lot of fun doing this 
Like I said, this is the best part of SimCity, building roads all, all day. I could, if I could get paid to do this all day, man, that would have been, that would have been great. And uh, I want to have some like different types of roads. Like maybe I want this to continue as a diagonal here. Like I remember when I went to uh, London, years back that the roads are I mean pretty much across Europe roads are a big mess so maybe we should try to recreate some of that and uh, this one sort of ends here so if we stone here it's gonna be a little, da, 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 da. I think we're, we're in good shape I'm not convinced about this one but uh, I don't see any other option here uh, let's go all the way there. I mean, we can we can do stuff like this. Uh, we can also have like dead end streets like this, which might not be the worst idea in the world. I want to see how that how that sounds. I think uh, it might be uh, interesting. And uh, here we can just simply have a side street coming all the way up to here, where this is rounded. And maybe this don't, doesn't exist, just to, you know, have a bit of a different grid situation. Uh, I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of traffic on this, this main uh, road, so maybe we'll need another one. If we have like a local access one just here, let's just bring it here. I don't know if I go, go all the way, but uh, here we're going to turn this one into a overpass. I think it will make more sense traffic wise. Go one level, two levels, three levels. I think that's a bit too, uh, that's actually not too bad. A weird pylon on the side, but uh, it's not a big deal. So. I think uh, I think we're we're doing we're doing good so far. Uh, there's there's so much work ahead of us on the city. I tell you, we're I'm, just expect this to be all like medium high wealth, medium density British style set, and uh, maybe this big spots will house some like big casinos. Actually, yeah, maybe we don't want this dead end street. Maybe we will, uh, but I think. Um, I think uh, that will be the topic of our next uh, video. So if you enjoyed this one so far, please give it a rating. That's very much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel. Uh, like I said, remember to check the um, the broadcast, the stream that I did a couple days ago. It's on Twitch. The link is in the description and you can see the all the two hours of worth of fixes that I did to the, fish, the city of Fishing Bali. And of course, leave a comment with suggestions on how or which to name this city of Arroyo Amal go alamo gordo alamo gordo yes um so thank you for watching guys and i will see you next time have a great one